Poopy, what would you do if I told you that we were getting you another brother? What would you do, Cooper? Would you be excited? Koopy, come here, seriously, hey, hey, over here. Sit, he's not up there. What would you do if I told you we were getting you a brother? Another little brother, you wouldn't be the little boy anymore. You'd be a big brother. I guess you'd be the middle brother. What would you think about that? Would you be excited about that? I know somebody who would be excited about that. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Today, we're getting a puppy. All right, so, I can't lead you guys on that bad. Originally I thought, hey, let's do like a whole like three minutes before we actually tell them what's happening. But I don't think we can do that. That's, that's mean. That's pretty mean. So mean. All right, so what's happening, and this is kind of crazy. Here in a little bit, we are gonna be going up to Michigan to visit her family for about a week. And her mom really misses her Shih Tzu, like little, what is Alfie was the name? It was Alfie, yeah. Alfie, yeah. So she really misses Alfie. He hasn't been around for a couple years now. Obviously, yeah. he passed away. And she's been kind of in and out of deciding if she wanted to get another one and, and lately she's really been looking into it but apparently up in Michigan they're really really expensive at least compared to down here and so we found one on Craigslist down here that's 13 well, weeks old the thing is she just won't do it she won't right. do it for herself yeah so she'll like look she'll find one she likes and then she'll just kind of like not follow through and you know say like oh I'll use that money on my kids or yeah. you know something else so basically what's happening is Chelsea and her dad are splitting this dog and we're gonna go pick it up we're gonna get it down here we're gonna keep it for the next few days before we leave which of course rather than waiting until the day before we leave Chelsea just has to go get it like <laughs> five days early and, uh, and and so we'll have a brand new puppy it's like 13 weeks old it's a male uh, Shih Tzu mixed with Dachshund it's like a a, a long or a dachshund yeah. okay so it, it's yeah it's like a shih tzu wiener dog um which is exciting and then we'll bring it up to michigan and surprise her mom with it she won't have a clue what's going on and it's going to be pretty exciting but uh the bottom line is for the next few days we have a little itty bitty 13 week puppy that's going to be able to meet cooper and coda and hey maybe this is kind of like a a forecast and, and kind of like a little test run to see if they do well with a puppy. I'm hoping that it's bad enough that we're like, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> Most likely. All right, so we have about an hour drive and uh, we'll see you guys once we get there. Okay, this is about the most evil thing I think I've ever heard in my entire life. And she just sprung this on me for the first time, so I want you guys to hear as well. What's your plan? I think that when we get there, we call my mom and say, we need you to come out of the house. We have a secret. We can't keep a secret from you any longer. You might say it's irresponsible. You might say we can't afford it. You might say it was a bad decision. So basically, we're acting and kind of alluding to alluding that Chelsea's to pregnant. pregnancy. And then we'll say, but you know what? It's a good thing because the family's growing. And then boom, there's a puppy. And then when she's like, oh my God, I can't believe you got another dog. We'll be like, no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> She's so evil. We are five minutes away. Are you excited? Nervous. We're meeting them in a Publix parking lot. Well, that's fair. I wouldn't give a stranger my address. Uh, I went to Koopy's original breeder's house and I picked him up. This just makes me really sad because it makes me think about the day that I got Cooper. He was sitting in your seat. You weren't around yet. He's my day one homie. You were just a, he's a, ride or die. a thought in the wind, I guess. I don't think. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, I'm so sad. It was in this truck and everything. Oh my gosh, I missed that day. <sighs> we're here. We're looking for a white F-150. She's so excited. <laughs> Do it, girl. Hi, baby. Got a little ant on you. Hi, baby. Yes. What are we gonna call him in the meantime? To your mom names him. Just baby. Just baby. He's so cute. You can barely even make out his features. He's so dark. He's cool because he has like the light hair underneath. Yeah. He's got a cool coloring. Yeah, he does. He's very cute. Baby, you got a new friend? He's pretty cute. He is really cute. Oh my gosh, he keeps looking up at me. Where are you going? Are you coming home with us? Uh -huh. He looks so small on your lap. He's tiny. You can barely feel him. He's so light. We're waiting in line for food because we didn't eat yet. I got this little bug on my lap. You like the camera strap? 
Mm -hmm. If you, if we were keeping him, which we're not, and continue telling yourself that, what would you name him? Chewy. Chewy? Like Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah. I like that. Chewy. She had said Chewy or Teddy. I think both of those would have been really good ones. We'll have to wait and see he what her mom comes up like with. He like a Teddy, but I'm a Star Wars fan. Yeah. Does Chewy fit you? I think so. What do you Maybe, think your mom's going to come up Baca? with? She's going to come up with something dumb. She had a, a pug she named Sebastian. <laughs> Imagine getting mad. Sebastian, that's too much. He's having a really hard time keeping his eyes open. You just can't <laughs> quite stay awake. And then I'll do another number seven with the soft shell. And did you want the no lettuce on that one too? Uh, no, keep everything on there. Okay. And then I'll also do a cheesy potato burrito. He's starting to come out of his shell a little bit. He's kind of climbing around. Up until now, he's been super, super just quiet. Oh, look at that big yawn. Oh, just so tiring, huh, buddy? Placing that order at Taco Bell, just so tiring. Hey, buddy. Hey, we made it. We're home. Here, buddy. This grass is almost as tall as you are, but you probably got to go potty, huh? Come here, buddy. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Come here, puppy. puppy. <laughs> Look at him coming out of his shell. Do it again. Oh my goodness. Watch out, there's a cotton ball coming to attack you. <laughs> I know his little hops. <laughs> Koopy, what is it? Go to sit and then you can see it. Well, I told you at the start that I was getting you a little brother. Did you not believe me? Calm down. Don't jump. Calm down. He's so excited. He's, He's doing like this. It's a cookie. <laughs> Sit. Good. Look at that tail. He's so happy. Is that a little brother coop? Sit down. It's not. <laughs> Go it's to not the scary. Come here. It's okay. You're a good boy. Good boy. Here. No. <laughs> Koopy is all about it. Dakota's not really so sure. Oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Charlie's like, get me out of here. Good boy, Cooper. Good boy. Don't lick his head. Leave him alone. Coda, this is another dog, not a cookie. <laughs> See that giant piece of drool. <laughs> Good boy, Coda. What is there to cry about, little baby? Why are you crying? You got a cookie here in your mouth. <laughs> so this is our current setup that we're working with. We've just got him in the bathtub because obviously there's no way he'd be able to get out of there. So it's kind of like the perfect little pin. I remember when we moved in, what would we ever do with a tub this big? Oh, raise puppies, <laughs> apparently. So we are gonna leave him here for now and it breaks my heart because every time we walk away, he starts crying, but we are gonna go to Target and we're gonna pick up a little leash, a teensy tiny collar. I th we're thinking that we might have to get a cat collar because I don't even know if a puppy collar will fit him. He's so small. And then some puppy chow and a uh, carrier. We wanna get like a little kind of like handheld carrier type thing that will work for a kennel when he's here as well as be really good for when we travel up to Michigan here in a few days. So we are gonna see you in just a little bit, buddy. He loves you so much. Don't cry too much. We'll miss you. Okay, so we've made it to the promised land. We're thinking, it was her idea to get him something that he can cuddle and sleep on. He likes to be like cozied up. So maybe like a big moose. And then we should also get something his size that we can like play tug of war with him so and stuff. Sorry. Yeah, we need the smallest, maybe we need to go to cat toys. Yeah. These I, are all too big for him. Um, maybe this one, these he could probably get in his mouth. But, but, but that's still pretty big. But the rest of this is size of his body. I don't know if he Yeah, he couldn't even carry that around. I, I wonder if I still have Cooper's first rope toy. We 
We're thinking the bunny. That's super cute. He's even got a little tongue sticking out. Who is he? Is he squeaky? Here in the kitty section, we found these, which we think look pretty good. They're super soft. I think they're small enough to get in his mouth. They also have some cool Olympic ones. Look at this. Look at this gold medal he could have, but I just I don't think he can carry that around. We're getting him a little collar with a bell. How cute is that gonna be? <laughs> so cute. Know where he is at all times. And now we need a really thin, light leash. All right, well, it's time to take our new house guest, his meal. We have a second little tray for water and some toys. All right, boys? Let's go do it. You're looking what are you doing, little buddy? Hi. We missed you. We weren't gone for too long, but we missed you. Yeah, we did. Oh man, he took the drain up. He looks like such a little tub. I promise you guys, his body actually starts like right here, but he has all of that that's just hair. It's so cute. Pick him up, pick him up, come on. Pick me <laughs> oh up. my gosh. Am I just the meanest? Come here, buddy. Oh, he's got puppy breath. <laughs> I told you. She thinks puppy breath smells so, so good. good. I think it smells good because it's cute, because it's a puppy. But if you actually think about the smell, it smells pretty bad. Well, yeah, I think it's cute because it's puppy cute. Right. I don't want... Really? <sighs> it smells... Ugh, it's gross. He probably ate before we pick him up, so I don't know how hungry he's going to be. I'm sorry. And some water. Thirsty. He's licking the condensation out of our Taco Bell cups, so... He knows the little boy's thirsty. All right, so we're gonna find out what sport is the best according to little no-name Charlie. Here we go. Hey, which one do you want? Look, hey, look. Which one do you want? He wants to dig in the Basketball's the best, come on, big basketball. Oh, I think he's a soccer puppy. A man of my own heart. <laughs> He's a soccer. <laughs> He's a soccer puppy. He's currently playing with a tuft of coat of hair. Oh, I remember Cooper. If you guys don't know, puppies' teeth are really, really sharp. Like way sharper than an adult dog. Ow! No biting. You guys can see there's some divots there, but it's kind of. Isn't that good for them to bite? Well, for the teething process, but yeah. you don't really want them to do it to you because then later they might think that that's okay. Right. Don't. <laughs> you are such a little spaz. He looks like he's seizing. <laughs> hey, moving is hard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get you guys. Don't they smell, dude? What are you doing? It's probably why. It probably smells great. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my pinky in that one. Get him, Charlie, get him. <laughs> He's so tough. So fast forward, like an hour. He's been crazy anytime you don't give him your full attention. He freaks out and starts crying. Apparently, Chelsea had the genius idea of putting him in an Amazon box. <laughs> Good morning, Koopy. How'd the puppy sleep? Did he sleep well? 
So we started him off last night in the tub inside of his little Amazon box because we just carried him up in it while he was sleeping. He didn't like being away from us and having us across the room. So what Chelsea ended up doing is bringing him in the Amazon box over to her bedside table and she fell asleep with her arm in it so that he was like being touched and petted and coddled and you know cuddled. And then once he fell asleep, she took her arm out and he slept for most of the night, which was really good. He woke us up about 6 a.m., had to go potty, but then he went right back to sleep. Hello, little oh. buddy. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he's helping himself to my water, and this one's just gonna help himself to my food. Is that how it, is that how it works? His face fits right in the cup. <laughs> I've been working all day in my office. Chelsea's been hanging out with him, so he hasn't seen me, so now he just wants to play. Oh. All right, so life hack for puppies. If any of you guys have puppies or maybe getting puppies, typically they are 100 or zero, particularly in the case of this guy, as in he is either full force playing or he's sleeping. Like right? knocked out yeah, sleeping. There is no calm play. <laughs> no, it's, it's full force or sleeping. So Chelsea's in, she's trying to get some work done because she's the one that's mainly taking care of him. I'm in there recording videos and stuff. I can't give him enough attention. So um, she's trying to get some work done and she can't even work on her computer because he's jumping out of his box and essentially doing flips and all kinds of stuff. So what <laughs> we're gonna do is we are going to run around with him until he gets tired and we're gonna knock him out essentially. We're gonna force him to knock him out. So let's, let's do it. And she actually, she found something kind of funny. Here, let's show him this first. He thinks he's so tough and strong. With this big scary river of rocks. Come here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that jump. jump. That was so cute. My favorite part is, do you remember what happened with this big boy? When we first bought the house. It still happens with that big boy. Yeah, in the morning when he goes out potty, he'll usually walk over it, no problem. But if you guys remember our first video of this house, I think it was in the house kind of like tour looking at video. Um, he wouldn't even step over these rocks. He was scared to step over the rocks. So this puppy is more brave than that. Think about that one. Anyway, let's go play. <laughs> <laughs> so. He just stopped and started pooping right here. Chels picked him up and transplanted him over to the grass. He never even skipped a beat, just kept on going, and not a single little piece got on the concrete, which is nice. I can't believe it. <laughs> that was he some... didn't even try to like not squat. <laughs> he, he stayed in the squatting position. That was really cute. Yeah. That was a quick reaction time, girl. I'm proud of you. Come on. Hey! Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> Are you feeling nice and light like a speed racer? Come here, buddy! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Ah! Come get me! Come here, buddy! Alright, now we're running back to the other side. Look at him. He's actually kind of fast for as short as his legs are. This is his first introduction to water. He's not really sure what to make of it. He only doggy paddles with the back. Here, that's good. There it is, that's how you swim. Come on. Woo! He'll be a good swimmer. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Let him dream, he's gotta have dreams. He's never gonna be a good runner using his little legs. Poor guy. He, he fell asleep on his At back. least he gives it an effort to swim, mister. Some of us have long legs. Other ones have big personalities and I understand big hearts. Pain. And that is what it looks like when you are victorious. Watch this, watch, watch. He's got some, some spunk. Oh, nope, he's not gonna make it anymore. I think he's done. So now it's time for a nap. And that means both Chelsea and I can be productive. Good job, girl. Air high five. Boom. So we left the pupper for the first time for more than like 10 minutes tonight. We went out and played some Pokemon Go for a couple hours with friends. Obviously, I mean, we don't like doing that, but life can't stop when you get a puppy. And she said that I should bring the camera up here to see. Have you ever seen a child that gets left alone with finger paint? Yes. Okay. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can 
Excuse me. He's gonna need a bath. Is that poo? <laughs> No shame at all. He's so sad. Okay. Well, at least he didn't get it on his bunny. No. It's just, oh, it smells wonderful in here. Okay. Well, it's time for us to clean this up. All right, guys. So, it's a new day, and today we are headed to PetSmart to go pick him up a carrier, right? Yeah, like a little travel carrier. Yeah. We're getting kind of close to a couple days from now. We're going to be leaving to go up to Michigan. And I'm really sad to be leaving him there. I'm sad he won't be staying with us because he is a sweetie. And for whatever reason, he is really, really attached to me. It's weird. But that's kind of what we've got going on. And uh, you guys going to help us pick one out. That is the sign of a spoiled, spoiled puppy. <laughs> we've been here before. We were just here for Coda's birthday. And now we have a puppy. You were asking for a puppy on Coda's birthday. And now you have one. But he's a renta puppy. Rental. He's a least puppy. The prince refuses to walk, so he gets carried. <laughs> Look, dude, will you fit in here? What do you think of it? Is that your new home? It's got your same colors. It does. <laughs> got the paint job to match. This is actually his first time on a leash, so I don't think he really understands it, that you're supposed to go where the leash is taking you. No, he's a shock dog. He just kind of goes where he wants. It started raining. Uh, woo! We made it. Good job, He's little buddy. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Are you boys going for a ride? Oh my gosh, Koopy, you were up in the driver's seat. Why? Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, Cooper, come here. Get back in the truck. Go, go, go. We gotta go. Good boy. All right. Well, guys, it's about that time that we head up to Michigan. And this is the last time that you're gonna see this little bugger here in Florida. Oh my gosh. He's so sweet and so nice. And I'm not gonna lie, we had a couple conversations about potentially keeping him, but we think that her mom is gonna treat him really well and she deserves him, so. But what if we're she gonna says, miss you, I don't buddy. Die. Then we can have him? Sure. Yes. That would never happen. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. Well, he had the hiccups. Now he's just fighting to stay awake. <laughs> it's our first stop on the trip. We gassed up, took the boys out. They all went potty, and now it's time to get back on the road. It's 3 a.m. 13 hours to go. Well, we're here at stop number two. Another gas station, drove till we ran out of gas. We're all filled up now, huh? <laughs> I don't even know where we are. Uh, somewhere in Kentucky, I believe. And we are stretching this guy's little legs out so that he can be chill in the car. The other boys are really good at being chill. Looks like Cooper's gonna, gonna take over this shift of driving, if that's all right with you. Cooper's usually pretty good. He just wants to come up to the front to get some attention. Coda sits in the back because he's lazy. What's up, guys? You guys can see me. So we just took everybody out, stretched their legs over in this little patch, let them go potty. And uh, I think they're like, how many hours left? 10? 9? Something like that. Coda sits in the back, staring at the seat. <laughs> he hasn't, he sucked a little bit. He, he doesn't look out the window. He doesn't look for attention from us. <laughs> he just stares at the seat, which is so weird to me. I, he's like possessed or something. He's a good car rider. <laughs> why, why would you just stare at the seat? <laughs> he could at least turn around and look at us. We've been talking to him, petting him. It's nope. so weird. <laughs> You're all. What are the chances that we just tell your mom that we got him for us and we don't even ever mention that we got him for her? Let me just say that he's the new addition to the family. He is so perfect. Hey. Hey, buddy. You're a good boy is gonna be really sad too. I know. So I don't know how much of it I got just because it would happen randomly like before we went to bed and stuff like that. But Koopy actually, ooh, don't fall bud. You probably wanna lay down. He attached to little Charlie pretty well and they played a lot together. And at first he's a little bit too rough because I don't think he realized how big he was in comparison and, and kind of how fragile Charlie was. But after a while, he kind of got it and he would like jump around him and play with him and not actually like topple him like he would originally. Yeah. So these two were best buds, weren't you guys? 
He really likes it when I hold him up so he can see out the window. Look at all the corn, dude. This isn't even corn, what is that, soybeans? But he's gonna be happy in his new home and that means that we have more time for our boys. Cause not gonna lie, even though obviously we did still spend time with Cooper and Coda, Charlie was quite the handful all week. And you guys, I mean you saw from the, the video that oh, Cooper man. was kind of a co-star this episode. So he's gonna go back to being a star. Are you excited about that, buddy? Babysitter. He was, he was a big he's brother. Babysitter. Coda kind of kept his distance for the most part. There'd be a few times where Coda would be laying there and Charlie would come up and he'd just kind of still lay there and let Charlie like play with his tail and stuff, but Coda... But mostly that was scary. Yeah, Coda was pretty <laughs> scared the whole time, so Cooper was the big bro. Hello! Hi! So, Charlie and I are going to be watching the Super Bowl tonight. Okay. We've been calling him Charlie and he's for you.